Welcome to Huffington Post. My name is Thea Randall and this is my recipe for the weekend. Now I'm going to cook today uh, spaghetti carbonara, which I think is one of those dishes that everyone has a sort of theory or philosophy behind. And for me, the most important thing about spaghetti carbonara is the quality of the ingredients. So really good quality uh, spaghetti. I mean, buy the sort of the best spaghetti you can afford to buy. Um, good eggs. I mean, these are Italian eggs. And the chickens have been fed a diet of corn and carrots, and they're specifically um, reared for pasta because they've got this amazing uh, yolk because of the carotene in the carrot. It's very, very almost orange like. Uh, and then I've got some really good quality uh, pancetta, which is a dry cure, it's not smoked. It's got this kind of amazing amount of fat on it, but when you, when you fry it, it's absolutely delicious. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to have some uh, parmesan. I mean, you could use a pecorino, but parmesan with the egg and the pancetta is delicious. There's no cream in this recipe. You know, carbonara with cream is, you know, it's, it's not really how it should be done. Plenty of black pepper as well. So first of all, we'll get a, a hot pan. Well, actually, first of all, we'll cook our spaghetti. So the whole dish shouldn't take longer than the spaghetti to cook. Now, this is probably gonna take, uh, on the packet, it's about 10 minutes. So we're gonna cook about eight, and we're just gonna finish off the cooking with a bit of the cooking water and the eggs and the pancetta and parmesan. So we'll put this in now. So while that's cooking, we're going to get our pancetta. So nice thin strips of pancetta. And then nice hot pan. We don't need any oil in the pan because this has got so much fat, this pancetta. And we almost want to make it kind of dry and crispy. So in it goes to the hot pan. And then just get that, all that fat to sort of render out. And while that's going on, we're going to uh, separate our eggs. You need quite a lot of egg in this. See, for, for um, one portion, I'll do at least two yolks. And then when I say a portion, I mean a sort of small starter portion. So make sure there's no white in there, just the yolk. Two, they're quite small, so we'll do uh, three. So three yolks. Keep the whites for something else. And then just keep your eye on that pancetta. We don't want to be too dark, we don't want to be black. We obviously just want to get a nice golden colour and really crispy. Look how much fat comes out, it's incredible. But there's so much flavour, and the kind of the fattier the pancetta, usually the crispier it goes. And just put that onto a towel, drain off any of the excess fat. We don't really want that fat anymore done its purpose, okay. So we're just going to sort of beat our egg yolks together, add a little bit of seasoning, black pepper, and then we'll just wait for our spaghetti to cook. So we're going to take our pasta out now, it's cooked, so a nice chewiness to it. So add it to our seasoned egg yolks with a bit of that cooking water, don't worry about getting a bit of the cooking water in. And then, using that hot pasta, to start moving the eggs and the pasta together. And the hot pasta will cook the egg yolk. That's why you don't need any cream. Then we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese. Use a fork, if you use tongs, you get all the nice bits stuck in the tongs. So just use a fork. And then at this point, if it starts to get a little bit thick, Add some uh, the pasta cooking water. So, a bit of pasta cooking water. And then just sort of bring that all together. Add the pancetta. Leave some for the top. And then, always like a nice little bit of good olive oil in there as well. Get all those nice bits from the side. And then. Nice, small portion of carbonara. Any more of the pancetta. A little bit more parmesan. A 
then just finish off with a little bit more beautiful black pepper and there you have a delicious authentic spaghetti carbonara <laughs>